Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to another Steam Autumn Sale 2021 video. So in this video, I'll be looking at games that have released this year 2021 and are also on sale. All these games that I'm going to mention, I have played them. I bought them myself or I was given these games by the devs. Now, because these are new games that released this year, a lot of them are not on massive sales. Normally, I don't cover games that are not on big sales. But the reason I'm mentioning these games is because some of these are very good games. And also, you may just want to add these to your wish list and buy them in the future. I'm just trying to bring awareness to these games because once a few more months pass and next year starts and new games come out, people might forget about some of these games. And I feel a lot of these are really good games here. So let's begin. First up is The Ascent. So this is a top-down twin stick shooter RPG, action RPG. And I liked it quite a lot. Uh, cyberpunk setting, very, very detailed world. Look, look at all of this. It looks amazing. It's also playable in co-op. I played it in co-op with another friend and he streamed it all the way through and we played it. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this game. I like the cyberpunk setting. I like, uh, you know, action RPGs, top-down views, isometric style. So I liked it quite a lot. Story isn't the greatest, in my opinion, but the combat is good. The world is good. Detail, like I said, is amazing. I, I don't know if I've seen other games with so much detail. Now, I would highly recommend you play this game, but the regional pricing isn't great here for people like me in india it's not bad in other places i guess the base price is not a lot it's 30 dollars which is fine so it's 22 and a half in the us and 1874 after discount it only came out in july i think yeah end of july so it's not even been out for that long so 25 percent is fair but we look at the price in india it's quite high the solution for this is of course the xbox game pass it is available on the xbox game pass and you can actually play it uh, with your friend, even if they are on like the Xbox. So it's got the, what's the term? Crossplay. Surprised I couldn't think of crossplay. So yeah, I, I played with my friend. He was on the Xbox Series X and I was on PC and we played it. It was fun. So yeah, I would recommend you check this game out. Play it on the Xbox Game Pass if you have it. Or if you are okay with the price, you can grab it now. Next is a small indie game that I put in quite a lot of hours into. This is Until We Die. So first and foremost, I just love the art of this game. It just looks very good to me. It's got the old uh, Metal Slug style. I even made a review for this one. Now, the story of this game is a mixture of Metro and, you know, those sort of games where there's been a lot of radiation overground and uh, there are a lot of mutant creatures running around. So you are like a commander, um, the two characters that you have you have here, it's Anna and Ivan, and you have these survivors with you. And you are in a underground um, subway station. And you have to build cross like left and right. It's like a 2D game. So you have to fortify both sides and keep expanding and, you know, pushing out your base and making fortifications, putting uh, weapons and more people, and you sort of get more survivors, build it up, and you have to survive hordes and hordes of enemy attacks. So during the day you build, during night you get attacked by these creatures. And as the day goes on, uh, like the days goes on, uh, you get more and more attacks and more creatures and bigger creatures. And you have to do a lot of prep. So a lot of running around and, you know, building things during the day and then sitting and defending at night. I liked it quite a lot. It's quite challenging. Even the normal, easy, whatever difficulty it is, is pretty difficult. So, yeah, only 10% off. But again, it's a very small studio. And uh, I think I only get four people making this game. And they did mention that there will be some more updates, free content. So I think they'll have like a pet. They'll have another character. Uh, multiple maps again so all those things coming perhaps early next year 10% off 440 rupees 15 29 dollars 12 14 pounds and 12 59 euros you can check out my review 
um, when this game came out. Also, it came out early June. Next is Coffee Noir Business Detective Game. So this is a much more recent game and a lot more different than the usual. This is a detective game. Art style is good. It's got a nice story as well. Fully voiced, which was a big surprise for such a small indie game. And basically, you are a detective and you are working undercover as a coffee salesman trying to investigate what happened. So this alternate world, coffee is consumed even more than it is. And uh, one big coffee tycoon disappears. So you have to investigate what happened. You are hired by his brother and daughter, I think. And you have to go in and pretend to be a coffee salesman and first investigate all the other people in their circle, the other businessmen and other rivals and etc. So yeah, very uh, unique, interesting game. 30% off, 398 only, $1749, dollars 13.64 pounds, and 14.69 euros. Next is Age of Darkness Final Stand. So this is a RTS base building game. So once again, you start off with like a, let me see if I can show you like the basics. You start off with like a small base, you build around it, and you have to defend against creatures that attack you at night. Uh, this is very similar to the Rift Breaker in terms of gameplay. And this is early access. You have uh, one hero right now. I think there'll be more heroes coming in. But I liked it. It was really good. You have these massive hordes of creatures attacking. But this has the medieval setting. Rift Breaker has more of the futuristic setting. And yeah, I liked quite a lot this game. Um, really fun. 25% off, 436 uh, rupees, 1649 dollars, 13 uh, pounds and 11 pence, and 1649 euros. Next is Tales of Fire, and this game is very high up in my list of best games of this year. So this tells the story of Reggie. So this guy here, the rat. You are like a rat prince. Your father is the king. The frog armies invade, uh, kill your uh, king and, you know, destroy your kingdom. And you have to just fight and regain your uh, kingdom. So I don't want to say souls like that's unfair, but you have a lot of boss fights. Uh, you can see here stuff like this. And you have the parry, block, dodge, stuff like that in 2D. And it is very satisfying. It is challenging, but not so difficult that you won't be able to do it. And you have a lot of weapons, a lot of, you know, armors and stuff. And the story is decent as well. And the best thing about this game is the narrator is the voice actor for Geralt of Rivia. This game I completed and I did a 100% run for this game. It's not a very long game, 12 to 15 hours if you go for like the full, uh, you know, 100% run. And of course, depending on how long it takes you to... Uh, kill the bosses. They also just dropped a free expansion, like an end game expansion with more uh, fights and quests. So, yeah, just just a few days ago. So, 25% off, 524 rupees, 1874 dollars, um, 1649 pounds, 1874 euros. Also, if you guys are interested, let me know. I might stream this because I was planning on checking out the free content. So maybe tomorrow or something, I could stream this so you guys can have a look. Because this is a very fun game. Next is an FPS game, Industria. Another game that came out late September. Now, this was a pleasant surprise. Very good game. Really enjoyed it. And I'm very glad I played this game. It's heavily inspired by Half-Life. And it's got an alternate reality Mm, parallel dimension travel stuff like that so it's got the mysterious uh, story as, as well only 15% off 449 17 dollars 14 and a half pounds and 17 euros now I will warn you this is a rather short game but in my opinion well worth it this is about four hours roughly if you you know play the full game and once again made by a very small team but surprisingly uh, interesting. I actually started playing this game and 
just sat and finished this all the way through in one stream. Next is Death Store, another popular game from this year, published by Devolver Digital. Um, nice looking game, beautiful music. You play as a crow who's a reaper and you have to collect souls, fight these big bosses. It's uh, not difficult, but it is somewhat challenging in some places. But yeah, very, very nice game. Um, art is very good. Combat is fun. It's got the top-down sort of isometric style view. 25% off. 524 rupees. $15. 12.59 pounds and 14.99 euros. Subnautica Below Zero. So technically not a game that came out this year, but this was an early access for several years and it got completed this year. So the full release came out this year and I played it this year. So I'm including it for that reason. I played the first Subnautica game, really loved it. And I played this one, almost finished it. I still need to go back and finish it. And yeah, I liked it quite a lot. Uh, same formula, you get back into it and it feels very familiar, interesting story. Um, yeah, really, really good game. More creatures, more exploration. The protagonist is voiced this time, unlike the last time, but still a very high quality game. 25% off, 524, 2249 in the US, 1874 in the UK, 2249 in the Euro region. They always run. So another very recent game. 2D platformer reminded me a lot of um, Dead Cells when I streamed this game. And surprisingly good game, very polished. Music was surprisingly good in this one. Like standout thing was the music. So the main thing is our guy here, you are a bounty hunter. And the gimmick here is we have a third arm <laughs> at the back, just like a mechanical arm. And you use that for certain things. There are these fun uh, running segments as well, where you have to run and chase someone and, you know, bring them down. And you're given bounties. You have to go and, you know, grab them, kill them, or like, you know, bring them alive and collect bounties. And there's a story going on as well. So yeah, very surprisingly fun game and definitely recommend this one. There's a demo as well, if you want to check it out. It's already 40% off, which I find surprising because it only came out uh, last month. 317 rupees, 12 dollars, 929 pounds, 10 euros and seven cents. And then final game for this uh, list is another very recent game. This is Jars. So a strategy game, um, you could say puzzle, tower defense element. It's just, the art is just so different to anything else I've seen. It feels like something, I don't know, Tim Burton would, you know, make. <laughs> And I played this a little bit and it's fun. I streamed the demo as well. Uh, you have these sort of jars. You have to protect the different levels and you have to protect, uh, I think, these things in the middle or something in the middle. I can't remember now because these are, these are different levels. And these bugs and creatures, you have to use them to defend them against these rats and other things. So, yeah, just... Uh, <laughs> fun different style of game 30% off 244 uh, rupees 839 dollars 699 pounds and 839 euros so yeah these are a few games that i found interesting from this year of course like i said earlier i'm not saying that you should buy them uh, but i do wanted to bring uh, attention to these games so at least you can wishlist them and then pick them up when you feel the price is right but i've played all 10 of these games and i liked all of them so that's why I thought I'd mention this.